All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Wanna slice. The objective of the two ball ball handling drills is to get as many dribbles in as you can before you reach the opposite end of the court. As you can see in this video, the ball stays low, it does not come above your knees, and you use your fingertips only to dribble. If you are a more skilled ball handler, such as Demarcus is, then each drill will be done coming backwards on the way back. So you will go forward on the way down and backwards on the way back. Also, don't be worried if you can't go as fast as Demarcus. The objective here is control, not speed. Just as in the first ball handling drill, you want to get as many dribbles in as you can before you get to the opposite end of the court. Staying low, the ball not coming above your knees, and using your fingertips to dribble. Remember, my advanced ball handlers, you are coming backwards on the way back. Also, for my beginners, you're going forward, but once again, it's about control and not about the speed. Next up, we have windshield wipers. Unlike the first two drills, in this drill, your feet are apart. Both hands are doing like an in and out dribble, changing hand position on the ball. By this point, your arms are getting tired. So an extra challenge to my skill ball handlers is if you bobble the ball or turn it over, start the drill over from the beginning, as you see DeMarcus do here. Once again, your handle is a low, quick dribble using only your fingertips, a dribble that I like to call a popcorn dribble. For my advanced ball handlers, there's a variation on the way back. Instead of the rocking side to side motion you were using going forward, coming backwards is almost like a hop as you shift your weight from one foot to the other. Next we have the front to back dribble, or as I call it, rocking the cradle. In this drill, you swing the ball from front to back, changing your hand position on the ball as DeMarcus displays here. Notice as DeMarcus swings the ball backwards, his elbows do not bend, but instead his arms extend all the way back past his legs. Once again, for my skill ball handlers, remember if you bobble the ball or turn it over, start the drill over from the beginning. Key to being effective at this ball handling drill is to not just drop the ball on the floor expecting it to bounce back up to your hand, but to push the ball down in each direction so it bounces back to you at an angle. The added challenge for my skill ball handlers on the way back is not to just walk the ball back, but to skip backwards while doing the drill. The next set of drills are the breakdown ball handling drills. These drills are meant to simulate game action by going from a relaxed dribble to an aggressive handle once the defense jumps you. The first breakdown drill is the double crossover. You go from a high relaxed crossover to a low breakdown crossover as if to take someone off the dribble. Notice how DeMarcus steps out to the side before actually crossing over on the breakdown handle. That sets up the defense to hop in one direction so you can shift to the other direction and get to the basket. Your next breakdown move is a crossover with the between the leg dribble. This ball handling drill starts off with a double high crossover, but the breakdown move is a crossover between the leg. As you see the markers go between the legs, notice that he puts his foot all the way in front. This is so that once you come out of your breakdown move, you're still making forward progression towards the basket and not dribbling side to side and have to make any adjustments.
On the way back, everything in the drill is the same, except for the hand that you begin with. So if on the way down, if you started with a right to left crossover, on the way back, you will start with a left to right crossover. If you can do the move going one way, you must be able to do it going the other. Our next breakdown move is a between the leg dribble with a behind the back. Once again, we start with a high crossover. Our breakdown move is the between the leg dribble with the behind the back dribble. Notice on the breakdown move, your feet move forward on each part. Like I mentioned before, your foot should be all the way in front of you on the between the leg dribble. And when going behind the back, you shift your lead foot out front to continue your forward progression towards the basket. Remember, the move is the same on the way back. The only difference is if you started with your right hand on the way down, you will start with the ball in your left hand on the way back. Our final breakdown move is a double behind the back dribble. We start with the high crossover, then our breakdown move is the double behind the back. On the first behind the back move, you lean to the outside to get the defender to bite in that direction before coming back with the second behind the back. On the second behind the back dribble, that's when you shift your lead foot in front to continue your forward progression towards the basket. Remember to change your lead hand on the way back. So if you started the drill with your right hand going down, you will start with the ball in your left hand on the way back. 